both with you. Um, uh, the president has already made this announcement, and uh, the essence he said is, of course, it will align to the country's national development agenda, and also to the SDG, which um, has a deadline of 2030. You coming from the opposition? What does it mean for assassination? I mean, this this is expected uh, in the first place, as you mentioned in his statement. It is in line with. Uh, our constitutional provision for the senior census and um, also um, so far we have seen the laws and procedures are followed as far as uh, with uh, the statutory instrument be laid in Parliament and then after the 21 days before we had a proclamation from the president you know so for us as an opposition we feel it is important because Censuses are done to determine uh, how we allocate resources, to determine our development agenda as a nation. Just earlier, you were discussing the issues about teachers. You know, so these are all things that are captured as far as our censuses are concerned. You know, the population size of your country, and then it also helps how you distribute wealth based on how the population. Uh, 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 you know, allocations are as far as census figures are, are concerned relating to, you know, different areas in your country. And so we feel as an opposition, it is uh, important for us to fully participate and we will fully participate uh, in this uh, uh, upcoming census. Uh, however, we probably as we go along in the program, there are things that uh, we feel we have to understand. Uh, whether in fact, one, we are ready as a nation, because when you look at the timeline from now to December, it's just uh, a little over a year, and census process is tedious, it is expensive. Uh, I know it will cost us nothing from what I'm hearing Yeah and census process is tedious, it is expensive. Uh, I know it will cost us nothing less than $30 million, maybe, from what I'm hearing. Do we have the resources? Do we have um, the expertise to take on this particular census program? Uh, do we have enough time to be able to complete so that we have actual and uh, credible census done you know, meeting international standards. How involved are our development partners, especially the UNFPA, which is uh, the competent international UN organization, you know, with the expertise to, you know, help with uh, our census of this nation. So these are all things that we may have to talk about going forward. And also, we have to talk about the inclusivity nature of it. The Census Act itself, made provision for certain committees to be set up, such as the statutory committee, the technical committee, which should be involved in and encompassing of all different stakeholders, including political parties. So going forward, these are things that uh, we may have to discuss, but uh, it is important, and I have to state here as the spokesperson of the main opposition that our party looks forward to it, will fully participate, and we'll put out mechanisms for also um, making sure that our membership, our supporters, and the entire nation participate in this census process. Opposition raised some concerns. Um, uh, civil society uh, members of the public raised some concerns. Out the way they turned out and the impact of that census result didn't do 100% of the good it intended to do. With that lesson learned going into 2025 uh, census, how much room, how much space is in this room for the conversation on feedback from the main opposition as to how things should be done? I think from my introduction, the first thing I said was to commend the statement made by the spokesman for the main opposition, the All People's Congress, when he stated that they are ready to support this. In 2021, it was the opposite. Obstructed it. And when you obstruct it, you don't expect it 100%.
Because the results were not what they should have been, people abstain because of the encouragement by the opposition. But part of those but reasons, they, the, yeah, uh, sorry, but part of those reasons they said were because also President Biyo and the government were also not listening to some of their concerns they were putting on the table. The, I was in the SAPC in 2015. The SLPP in opposition then made similar objections. We still went ahead and did the census. Well, they didn't obstruct it. They didn't go out to stop people from being counted. That is why I said we are looking forward to a credible and inclusive. Sorry, sir, when you say we now, who do you refer to? As a country this time. Okay. We're looking forward to a credible and inclusive process this time because those that caused the problems in 2021 have said that this time, maybe because of lessons learned, have now agreed to accompany the process, work fully with government. In but it seems as if that President Bio himself is now going off of lessons learned. City just spoke about 2021. He made the proclamation before even tabling it in Parliament. But this time around, it went through Parliament before his declaration. So that is why he's saying that they are ready to support him. But that in itself is justification that even President Bio perhaps acknowledges that things were not done the right way in 2021. Well, because that, there's a change well, of methodology that, 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 this time around. Isn't that the behavior of a noble man when you accept that you made a mistake? He is not infallible. He is not an angel. He's a human being like you. You could put one step before the other, but that was corrected. The proclamation was made. And then the declaration, sorry, the instrument was then laid. It didn't stop the instrument from being debated in Parliament. It was debated. But then it was, went through after the 21 days. So today, I am saying that we have all learned our lessons, that Sierra Leone is the focus here. And the people of Sierra Leone should be, like you said, at the heart of everything that we are doing. And because they say that, I and my colleagues believe that we are going to have a credible census this time. Okay. Because we want the opposition, we want everybody to get involved. And they will be involved. The door is open, the space is open. And I think the Problems that happened before, like 2015 and 2021, it's not enough public education. But this time, the government is determined to open the space for dialogue, for discussions, and for feedback.